I'm Taylor Knust with your local 5 weather lab. We often get questions from viewers wondering why we focus more on dew points than relative humidity. So let's dive into the differences between the two. Dew point is the temperature that the air needs to reach to become completely saturated, or in other words, when temperature and dew point are equal, the relative humidity is 100%. Dew point is strictly a measurement of how much moisture is in the atmosphere. Meanwhile, relative humidity tells us the percentage of water vapor in the air compared to the maximum amount of water vapor the air at that temperature could possibly hold. So it's based both on moisture content and the air temperature. Relative humidity can be useful in certain situations like determining fire danger. However, if you're trying to determine how comfortable it is outside, dry, humid, uh, what it's going to feel like, you definitely want to lean toward dew point rather than relative humidity. So let's go through a couple of examples. Let's say it's a summer day with a temperature of 90 degrees and a dew point of 70. Most everyone would consider that uncomfortably warm and muggy. However, the relative humidity in this situation is only 51%. Here's another example. It's a chilly morning with a 30 degree temperature and a 30 degree dew point that results in 100% humidity. But who has ever thought to themselves that it feels humid when it's that cold outside? So those are just a couple examples of why relative humidity can be misleading at times. According to the National Weather Service, the world record for the highest dew point is 95 degrees set in Dharan, Saudi Arabia back in 2003. The U.S. record is 90 degrees set in a few locations, New Orleans, Louisiana, Melbourne, Florida and Appleton, Wisconsin. Are you surprised to see Wisconsin on that list? Well, the upper Midwest is actually home to some of the highest dew points in the country every summer, due in part to a process called evapotranspiration. And this is where moisture from crops and wet soil evaporates, adding more moisture into the air. And of course, here in Iowa, that can often be the case. Dew points do occasionally reach the 80s here in Iowa. In fact, back in uh, 2010, Newton, the Newton weather station reached 88 degrees with a dew point just about 10 years ago. With your local five weather lab, I'm meteorologist Taylor Knust.